Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today, we'll be taking a different route than normal. Instead of making a short or a review, I decided to take a look at the customs I've been working on for the past few years. So without further ado, let's get started. To start things off, we'll be taking a look at two customs that I've just recently finished. Aryan Burt. Yep, since Trackmaster is, well, stupid and I don't want to release any other diesels, I decided to make my own. I honestly can't tell which one is which. So yeah, here's one of them. I know the stripes and the soda ironworks are horrible, but, but I tried. Took a lot of time. See, I even got the uh, black on the sides, right? I even added their beards. Here's the other one. Now, I think this one's Airy and this one's Bert, but whatever. We'll see when we get to them in the series. Yeah. Funny enough. Aerie was the first one, but yet, Bert looks a lot worse, because he actually has clay on him, because he was Paxton at one point, but we're not going to go on that for now, but yeah. As you can see, they free roll! Before I take all motors out of Trackmaster 2 engines, because I don't like them. Actually, I like them, I just don't like how they don't free roll. But yeah. Actually, on to our next diesel. We have. Splatter. Yeah, I, did, I just so happen to have an extra splatter model, so I decided why not put splatter in the series? So, as you can see, I added a whole bunch of details to Splatter. I painted his face, gave him a new look, gave him a whole bunch of silver. I couldn't really get that paint off, so I decided to keep it. It doesn't look that bad. But I think the silver turned out great. Splatter looks amazing. As you can see, I even the silver on the lines. And here's his back. Even more silver! And then here's this other side, which looks a lot more clear. But yeah, that's enough for diesels. Now let's move on to something else. The next two customs aren't really customs, but whatever. We have Donald and Douglas. Yeah, I happened to find Donald and Douglas when I was searching for more stuff for the series. So I decided I'm gonna put them in, cause Donald and Douglas just returned. So yeah, here's Donald. As you can see, I kind of added his silver stripes. Still haven't decided if I'm giving them nameplates yet. Probably won't. But yeah. I did a complete paint job, giving them new paint everywhere. Honestly, if I just remove the face, I can turn this into Slender Engine. <laughs> but I'm not doing that. These guys are awesome. I will go back and probably edit some new looks to these guys, but that's for another video. Here's a fun fact, Don and Douglas, these guys were actually blue, because at some point I guess I decided to make them blue. I don't remember that 
I don't remember much about what I used to do with Trackmaster. All I know is I used to play, the, play with them outside and take them apart. That's what happened to Splatter. And that's why I had to get some, a bunch of new engines. Okay, here's the other side. Then next up we have poor Douglas. As you can see, I gave him the old classic front coupling, which is very popular at the time. Yeah. He also has the silver handlebars. You can see I took up side rods. I had to do that for to give him to another engine, but you'll find out who that is in the Trackmaster collection video. Yeah, I gave this guy a complete paint job as well. I really wish I could find a tender for him. Because until I get a tender, I cannot put Douglas into the series. Or unless I pull a twisted Tom. I might. Maybe I'll just give him James's tender. But yeah, that's Douglas. Next up, we have some customs based off official Thomas things that came out last year. First off, a custom LDSC Muddy Thomas. At one point, this was a fully custom LDSC Thomas with the green wheels that had the white stripes. But then I got the actual Thomas and I was like, you know what? I'm probably going to make a muddy scene in the Timothy movie, so why not? So I did this. So basically, this is what he would look like in Sword of Legend of the Lost Treasure if he was still green. As you can see, he has the white foot plate, metal over his face, scrapes, even cab and whistle decorations. I just don't know what to do with my Thomases anymore. This is why I have so many of them. I just customize them. Yeah. Like you can see I even had the LBSC 70. It looks a lot better than the Sodor Ironworks on Aryan Burr. As you can see, he has the normal wheels. That's because the other wheels are on the official Thomas. Yeah. Here's his back. I even had the back lining for all you fans who care about the back lining. It's just, he even has some kind of water de details. Yeah, it kind of turned out bad a, a bit, but it's pretty good. Now we have... Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure Thomas. I say this is one of my favorites. This is the reason I bought a silver sharpie, was for this custom right here. It took a lot of time to make this. Probably about an hour or so. Yeah, backlining. But I'm actually very proud of this model. You see, he has the mud covering up number one. He has different colors of mud. It's kind of hard to tell, but he has all sorts of color. He's got the silver scratches, the white uh, lamp. I would have given him the white foot plate, but I didn't really feel like it. He's even got custom wheels. See the little scraped and scratched, and even the motor has a bit of brown on it to make it look like mud. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. And if I ever make Sora's Legend of the Lost Treasure and Trackmaster, you'll be seeing this guy. Next up, we have everyone's favorite engine. James. Now, there's a story between the about these guys. I hate them. I hate Black James. You see this one right here? You don't know how many times I have had to repaint this model. These Black Jameses are my most hated, but some of my best work. It took so long to get the paint on these guys. I literally, like, two weeks ago, a month ago maybe, just repainted this James. As you can see, the black kinda got on his face. It's kinda hard to tell on the camera. But yeah. Anyway, without ranting too much, let's take a look at the model. As you can see, he's kinda kind of a, a metallic paint. Kinda wanted to get it on the tender, but I didn't feel like painting it because I'm so mad at this model. As you can see, 
he's got the silver handrail, gold dome. He's got all the things that James has. He's even got a number five. I could have done better on that, but oh well. I kind of even had the back lining on the tender. As you can see, look at that. It's the black the blacks are starting to come off. I'm going to have to repaint this tender soon. So the reason there's two different colors on this James is because tender was painted one color and the engine was painted another. So yeah. Get, get off. Get out. No, I'm done with you. Now we have surprise James. Yeah. Just because of the runaway scene, I had to buy another runaway James, or surprise James, and then paint it black. If I only had to do one James, I would have been happy if now I had to do two Jameses. But I'd say this one turned out a lot better. The paint doesn't shoot that much on him. I did do a lot better on this one, except for... Little... There's a little spot of dome, uh, a little spot of gold on the silver, so, but... Oh well. I see this one has no number. That's because in the railway series it didn't have a number, but in the TV series he did. So that way, if I ever want to make it TV accurate or RW railway series accurate, I can. Tenders are basically the exact same. It's about the number. Still chipping. Probably gonna paint that sometime. Oh yeah. The paint I used for the for the buffers was isn't really that good. It's the same paint I used on the sides. And that sides the whole model, so yeah, don't be surprised if he looks different coming soon. But anyway, enough of these guys, I'm done with them. Goodbye. Next up is a custom model of one of my favorite fan characters Silver Avenger Percy. Yeah. Now, he never, he didn't always look like this. Originally, he was just Percy, just had some tinfoil over him with some decals. But I decided, I'm gonna make a full model, so I painted it. And it turned out fantastic. As you can see, I got the stripes. I even got the little cab details. Now, the funny thing is, this is a spray-painted model. This whole thing is spray-painted. Except for the black. Everything else is spray painted. See, I, I even did the wheels. Yeah. See, I, I did the face as well. I say the face turned out pretty great. Now, as you can see, the guns look a bit different, but this is. I thought I decided to make the guns a bit bigger for the character was a bigger model, so yeah. At one point, I think I gave him backlining, but I got rid of it because it, it didn't look that good. So yeah. This Percy is one of my favorites. And the good thing is, I can take off the guns and make it the silver Percy just from Trackmaster. So, yeah. Next up is a model that I've kind of been in between lately. But since Flying Scotsman is returning in the Great Race, I decided, let's make them. Let's make this model. So here it is. Trackmaster Big City Engine. Not the first time I made one. It's funny, this Henry was a Henry, and then it became Big City Engine. And then it became Henry again, and now it's back to being Big City Engine. As you can see, the face is actually crooked on the model. Yeah. So yeah. He's got silver buffers, a white foot plate, he's got the smoke deflectors. I kind of even gave him little silver pistons. He's got green, dark green wheels, dark green paint, stripes, handrails. Handrails actually done with Sharpie, I wish I had done that with James, but I didn't have them at that point. Stripes could have been done better, but yeah. And then here's the tender. I didn't add any details inside the tender, I mean, not on the side, because I don't really think I can do that. Yeah, here, silver buffers here. Oh yeah, I also gave all these models normal Tomy couplings. It actually helps out a lot, but not all models have couplings. So yeah, here's the other side, and off you go, big city engine. 
Now let's go on to some of the more eh customs. Now we're on to the models that are eh. First up, the red coaches. The reason these exist is because I got a new Annie and Clarabelle. Yeah, two of these were Annie and Clarabelle. Another one was a custom Henrietta, which looked horrible. So I got a new Henrietta and new Annie and Clarabelle in an awesome lot. Henrietta was a was a separate purchase, but I got a lot of Annie and Clarabelle and some other cool items. But yeah, enough of that. On to the customs. As you can see, they're just red coaches. That's all they are. Red coaches. Yeah. I don't have really much to say about them. Is that they're just red coaches. I don't see I don't know what else there is to say. Yeah. Here's second one. Here's third one. Yeah. Red coaches. Now we have the green coaches. Now these are two different things. These will be the express coaches and the coaches to one of the customs coming up. As you can see, these have had many colors. They've been green with black roofs. They've been black with white roofs. And now they're just green with white roofs. I'd say these turned out pretty good, except for the wheels. I think they probably do those. Fix those one day. Maybe. But, yeah, we'll say that for another day. Next up, we have... A repainted jet engine. This is all this is. A repainted jet engine. Yeah. Then we have... A, the truck that came with the... Surprise, James. A custom troublesome truck. Yeah. As you can see, he's got all the details. And he's silver, because I didn't have a gray. So, yeah. Troublesome trucks! Go, top some trucks! And now on to the good stuff. Here we are. The good ones. First up, we're gonna start with the first custom I ever made for Trackmaster 2. He's had a lot of work done. We have Timothy. Yep. Timothy! He was the first custom I ever made for the series. Yeah. Remember how I said that Percy was made out of tinfoil? Well, so is this Timothy. As you can see, he's had multiple paint jobs. As you can see, I kind of went down over there with Sharpie. I also kind of gave him some cab detail, but yeah. This model was good. This is actually the first Trackmaster to Thomas I ever got. He's had painted wheels. I actually say he looked a lot better when I gave him black wheels instead of having the blue wheels. So I'm actually happy how that turned out. I also gave him a face. The other faces are hand drawn. So I printed out some faces and I say it looks a lot better on this model. So yeah, that's Timothy. The only reason I'm not giving this one enough spotlight is because of this one. This one. This Timothy is my best model so far. It's my favorite. As you can see, he has a custom 3D model face. It's kind of squished because I had to get it off. Because Timothy is able to take his face off. Don't make any jokes. I know one of you is going to make a reference. Don't. So yeah, as you can see here... Here's some boxes of Timothy faces, cause So yeah, I can just like, take one of these faces from the face boxes. For instance. This face right here. And then attach it to Timothy. Yeah, most of those faces are made- are hand drawn. Cause I felt like it, okay? So yeah. This Timothy just looks amazing. And he's spray painted, so that's why he looks so amazing. Now let's get a look at the model. Machine, he's got the white hood plate. He's got he's got the black buffers. He's got a number zero. He's got the the black lining, the black wheels, black black cat uh, no, back 
He originally had backlining, but uh, it didn't look good, so I got rid of it. Here's on the other side. So yeah, this Timothy is one of my favorite models I've ever made in any gauge. Sorry, I just had to keep fixing the face. I don't mean to reference that video. So yeah. Now onto a model that really just has some sentimental value if any of you have been on YouTube for as long as I have. So yeah, here we are. The last custom. Now this custom has been around for a while. It's a pretty old one if I must say. It's been around for well longer than most than most of these customs. Heck, it came out even before Timothy was even thought of. Yeah. Sadly, I can't find the videos anymore to this custom. But it's been with me forever, so... I decided why not to make it. So yeah, it's about time I show you who it is. We have the brother that came before Timothy. Number 77. Now if you don't know who this engine is, I can see that. Cause he was made back in like, 2005 or something. This engine's name is Roger. And he was, and he was the brother that came before Timothy. Yeah. As you can see, he's basically a darker blue version of Thomas with the number 77 instead of 1. Yeah. This model really has a lot of sentimental value to me. Just because of those videos so long ago. It always just brings back the feels looking at this model. This is one of my favorites. Now, if you're wondering why I'm playing Lion King music, it's because I'm guessing this is what he was based off of. Because in the scenes I remember seeing, he was he was like stuck in water, and then he was doing that iconic scene with where Mufasa was like in the clouds and Simba was looking at him. I said it was Thomas and Roger. He was in the clouds. Yeah. Sadly, I can't find that video anymore. And there was also a whole bunch of him and merchandise, but I can't find that video either. It's a real shame. So I decided, now that, now that I have a channel, why not put him in some videos? Just to make those who remember him, remember him. For those who don't, to get to know him. So yeah, not only will you see Timothy, but you will see Roger as well. I guess with that, we're done. So yeah, this is all my custom Checkmaster engines I've made so far. There is still one work in progress, but it's even that for another time. So yeah, some of these customs have been really fun to make, like a Thomas's and Timothy, but others have been chores, like a black, James is. Yeah. Hopefully I get some new models soon. But yeah, there won't be a video until like next week. Then again, I'm making these weekly, so yeah. But depending on when I get my next model, yeah, that's when a new video will come out. But in the next collection video, I guess, will be these guys. The main models of the series. We'll take a look at my Trackmaster collection next time. Unless the new engine comes sooner. <laughs>